Public health officials in recent days have raised alarms over a new variant of coronavirus that could fuel a global surge of COVID-19 cases with severe consequences. Named after the Greek letter, the Omicron variant is the 13th variant of SARS-CoV-2 virus that has received a Greek designation under the World Health Organization's classification system for variants of interest or concern. In May 2021, World Health Organization announced it would use a new system for naming variants to avoid confusion and stigmas to countries where the variants are first documented. Omicron's scientific name is B11529, which conveys scientific information about its lineage. Though scores of variants are popping up and circulating around the globe every day, only a dozen before the Omicron have raised the level of concern or interest, and it is impossible to know the total number of all variants. There are now five named variants of concern, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta and Omicron. There are two variants of interest, Lambda and Mu. Kappa, Iota and Eta are three former variants of interest, now classified as variants under monitoring and Epsilon, Zeta and Theta are now formally monitored variants. A variant of interest is linked with genetic changes that are predicted or known to affect virus characteristics, such as transmissibility, disease severity, immune escape, diagnostic escape, and identified to cause significant community transmission alongside increasing in number of cases over time. To be a labeled a variant of concern, the variant must be linked with an increase in transmissibility or increase in virulence or decrease in effectiveness of public health and social measures or available diagnostic vaccines and therapeutics. Variants under monitoring are having genetic changes that are suspected to affect virus characteristics with some indication that it may pose a future risk. What are formally monitored variants and what are its criteria? The variant is no longer circulating at levels of global public health significance. The variant has been circulating for a long time without any impact on overall epidemiological situation. Scientific evidence demonstrates that the variant is not linked with any concerning properties. Omicron is the 15th letter in the Greek alphabet and why it is named for a 13th variant of virus. WHO said that it passed over new to avoid confusion and Z given its commonality. New is too easily co-founded with the word new and Z was not used because it's a common last name. The study which has not been formally reviewed estimates Omicron could be twice as likely to cause a reinfection than earlier variants. Researchers are trying to figure out Omicron's ability to evade immune response and effectiveness of available vaccines. More than 300 Omicron cases have emerged worldwide, including India, mainly in travelers arriving from South Africa. According to the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control, most of the cases in Europe are of those with travel history to Southern African countries. It also says that some European countries have community or household transmission. ACDC cautioned that Omicron variant could be the cause of nearly half of all infections in Europe within the next few months. What should we do to prevent ourselves from the virus? Mask up, maintain social distance, sanitize hands, prioritize the children and elderly people, avoid traveling and crowded places, and getting fully vaccinated are one of the best ways to protect ourselves and those around us. Keeping these necessary protocols in mind reduces burden on health department officials and decreases the chance of getting hospitalized.